However, the thing that I am enjoying the most about this book at the moment is this little section at the end. It is in every unit. It's the last sort of six or seven lines of every single unit. And it tells you where this book links up to the, with the previous book and the one ahead. So it says, review Nelson Maths um, year two, unit 31. I've also put in there year three, unit 21, because that is the unit on patterns. So using functions is very similar to those patterns and we do two-step patterns. So that's in there to refer to. Today I'm looking at year two, unit 31, which is the new unit that was written for the grade two coding stream in this patterns and algebra. So it links directly up to that new unit that we've done. In that grade two unit, you've got a copy of it in your notes. They're using calculators and they're using the repeat function on the calculator. So they're using, it's, it's, it's like, pre-function machine stuff, so using a calculator as a repeated, uh, repeated addition or whatever else. And I would be using just my calculator NTO and just simply 5 plus plus 5 and then have the kids, the kids could be using this on their own, I'm just going to push equals a few times there. In this, plus 5 is our function, the first number is our input, the number after the equal sign is our output. So I'll be talking to the kids about that and talking about how it is actually the same as a function machine. It's no different, it's just doing it a different way and it's taking out that component of them having to add five every time, which for some grade threes is still challenging. They're still, that's still using a lot of their energy doing that. So here the calculator is doing it for them and we know this is grade two level. So for those kids who really are still working back at grade two level, it links in, it's the same task, we're still doing the same thing, but it's at the level that's appropriate for them and it's a really simple, quick modification using the NTO that we already have there. Now I need to get back to here. Okay. <coughs> and that's better. And then for the kids who need to move forward, we look at our year four unit, uh, year, year unit 35. Get rid of that. <laughs> so, um, that's about exploring odd and even numbers and they're doing multi-step equations. They're using different math mathematical language for that. And you can see here they're doing four different functions and um, some different stuff there. So when I first looked at this unit, I sort of went, oh, how does that link right into my function machine stuff that I've just been doing? Because again, I don't want to have to have one group off doing something completely different to what the rest of my class is doing. I want it to all be tied in. So I had to have a think about that, how it worked. I'm handing that over to you for a second to think, what could you do using this, knowing that this is grade four. This is grade four, that's their coding strand. How would I make my lesson tie in using that as a sort of point to base? Any ideas that you'd like to share? What were you, any, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Function machine and then the output of that goes to another function machine. So, so you have your function machine and then the output goes into a new function machine yeah. and then that would have another function, so it's like a series. So you'd have like a plus three and then it would go to another one. Plus. Yep. Yep. So a series of function machines that you're using. Okay. Anyone else like to share their ideas before I share mine? Yep. You're working backwards? Yep. So if they get the output. Yeah. Yep, you're on to lesson two already, but definitely working backwards, <laughs> you're just, <laughs> that's okay. Um, but definitely, they could definitely start working backwards already. Um, if I, with this, and the first thing that came to my mind when I looked at this unit was, well, let's add some extra functions in. So let's get those kids who are working at grade four level, let's add some, add some cards, let's get them to choose three from here. And we're just talking, <laughs> I'd prefer not to have two pluses. All right, um, so I've got, times three plus five times 10. So that's what's come up with my cards here. So I'd say to them, you know what, this is our function. We're doing a three step for those kids who are working at grade four. I could add a four step in, but then I would start looking at bod mass for those kids. We're just talking, does bod mass come into it? Sure, it can come into it. And the way that I would, that the way that I would do it, I would say, you know what, work it out this way. So do it in order first, and then apply bod mass and see if you get a different outcome. So see if it actually changes and have them thinking about that and do it, get them to do it both ways rather than just doing it one way. And sometimes they may not get a different output. Sometimes they may and get them to work on that. So doing the same thing, just in a slightly different way. You could also have them still working with the larger numbers if you wanted them to. 
if you're adding in four functions, it might be good to keep their numbers smaller and have them working at that so they can actually work it out in their heads. But that's up to you and you can really just do whatever, you know, whatever works for you, whatever works for your class and what those kids need. But you know that you're working at grade four, which is really good to know. So you know you're actually extending them up. And then this is the worksheet, which I think they could also do if you wanted them to. They could do their activity and say, you know what, now work on this. And it uses different language, so they've got different um, words for the same functions and just getting that idea of what they're actually doing. So that's from the grade four book. Okay, so that is the end of lesson one in the unit. For the remainder, the next two lessons, I'm not going to talk about how to extend them as much. I'm not going to spend as much time on that, but hopefully you get the idea how you can use that whole series to really pinpoint that point of need for all of your students and really get that working. Um, what I didn't say before was, so then if I was working in the grade four book and I go, you know what, this is still too easy for some of my kids, I go to that end of that unit and go, where do I need to go for grade five? So every single unit has that little, those little lines at the end that says where to go to next. So you've got a full continuum and it's really easy to find. You don't have to go searching everywhere for where it begins, where it ends. It's there already done for you. Mm -hmm.